When U.S. Olympians Nikhil Kumar in blue and Shinzo practice, it can look like the video has been sped up. It hasn't. They're moving that fast. The same goes for Kanak Ja and three-time Olympian and five-time national champion Lily Jong. The 26-year-old Jong from Redwood City is philosophical about the COVID delays and how it will impact these games. I think it will be a little bit difficult. Obviously, there's a lot going on with uh, COVID and regulations and all that stuff. But, um, you know, I'm just going to try to keep my head down and focus on what I need to focus on, which is, you know, trying to get a medal at the Olympics. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I'm excited. So is 18-year-old Kumar from San Jose, who finished first at the Olympic trials. As he and the others train at the new Triple Eight Table Tennis Center in Burlingame, Kumar points out all the athletes around the world had to endure the same thing. There was obviously for sure months at a time where people weren't able to practice. So I think everyone's facing similar issues, but I think in the end, I think we'll all be, we'll all be prepared, I think, for this tournament. How about you? Do you feel prepared? Yeah, I think now as, as the situation's gotten much better with COVID and I've been able to practice a lot more recently, I'm feeling pretty good and in really good shape to be able to play well. Well, for the Bay Area Table Tennis Olympians, there is still plenty of time for intense training, more intense than this, obviously, before they leave for Tokyo in a few weeks to pursue their much-delayed dreams, dreams that, of course, we all hope will turn into reality. In Burlingame, Robert Honda, NBC, Bay Area News. Wow, looks like Robert has a dream, too.